Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Ken C. Once again, just showing you here on the Compact NC6220 the uh, CMOS or the RTC battery replacement. Okay, so here's where I got it from. They're the group. I got it at a pretty decent price. I actually picked it up off eBay. So here's the insides. Okay, and here's how I'm going to do it. Tape down there, tape down there, tape down there, right where that plug is. You see a little white uh, Molex connector, that two pinner? That's where it's going to go. Tape it down. Here's where the actual bay is. That's actually where your CMOS or RTC battery would be. Okay, so I ripped it out. It was pretty hard. It was catching on this little piece right here. So you have to lift up from that in. And of course I had to unplug that. Here's where it's under. Okay, to remove it, like I said, it would sit like so. So you would start at this corner right here and pry this up. And then it'll start lifting up just like this. And then unplug this, of course, this little connector. And that'll be right there. All right, so, and of course, let me show you what the old battery looked like. Okay, so that is what the old battery looked like. You can see I had to do some prying to pull it out. And like I said, um, as if you notice here, can't just slide it back down. It's because this is designed to hold it. So I had to rip it out like so. Like it was here and I had a yank from the forward up. Okay, so here's the tools I used to get this done. Tape, um, dollar store, uh, mini screwdriver, mini flathead, and some pliers, mini pliers there. All right, so that's what it's looking like right now. Like I said, that's that's it right there. Tape it down. I mean, this is a lot easier than ripping up your machine, so we'll give it a shot here in a minute and see what happens. Okay, everyone, we're back here, and as you can see, uh, the time is now working correctly. So here's what it looks like on the end. It's able to snap everything down. You have to be very careful. But the battery will fit in there perfectly. You just have to use flathead like that. Just push down, down on the edge of the, the actual connector that's sitting inside right here. Just push it down gently, don't go wild. It'll push in. Once you see it looks connected, uh, try the power button here. And that should uh, indicate that it's working. If it does, make sure you know those kind of buttons work too. And uh, you should have a working system, and you should now have your CMOS battery working and ready to go. As you can see here. Um, and I've turned this off and turned it back on quite a few times, so I've verified that the battery is working. Uh, this is Can't See, and this is how you change an RTC battery on the Compact NC6220. Thank you.